Now to that superbug outbreak in the West, the deadly infection at UCLA Medical Center, two dead, five sickened, including a teenager. Tonight, his family furious with the makers of a certain piece of medical equipment, arguing they're too hard to clean. Nearly 180 patients exposed, and that warning now for hospitals across the country. ABC Cecilia Vega on the infections patients can get after they're already in the hospital. As an 18-year-old victim of a superbug outbreak at this Los Angeles hospital fights for his life, UCLA's Ronald Reagan Medical Center says patients were exposed by an endoscope contaminated from a past procedure. There were two endoscopes that were used that had a CRE infection embedded in them. The potentially deadly superbug known as CRE is so powerful it is resistant to antibiotics. Superbugs are most commonly spread in hospitals by contaminated equipment, but even simple physical contact, such as a nurse changing a bandage on a patient, can spread the infection. Since 2001, the superbug has made its way into all but three states. UCLA now says it followed manufacturer sterilization guidelines. The patient's lawyer tonight promising to sue the manufacturer of the scope, saying they are too hard to clean. The goal is to hold them accountable uh, for civil damages. But UCLA now has even stricter sanitation standards in place. So do a handful of other hospitals. And Cecilia just arriving here in New York after reporting from that hospital and now that FDA warning for the whole country. Yeah, the whole country, doctors and hospitals all across this country because there is so much on the line in this case. 23,000 deaths every year from superbugs in this country, 600 just because of the CRE alone. The company that makes the scopes in the Los Angeles case telling us that it is now working with the FDA and these hospitals to address all of these concerns that are out there. All right, Cecilia, we'll see you here at the anchor desk tomorrow night. Thank you.